Hey everybody, this is Liz with 143 Handmade, and I just finished a 100 days project. So for the next 100 days, there'll be a video out every day. Some of them are rather short, some of them are kind of long. They're all less than 10 minutes though, showing you how I did these flowers. And it's just one label each day. They are rectangular labels, self-adhesive, one inch by two and three quarter inch. This is just something I found at a, um, a secondhand store. So thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to check out my links below if you're trying to find me elsewhere. Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me for day 39 of my 100 days of flowers. And today we're going to draw some dark circles scattered about. Or not circles, but well, yeah, circles, not not, um, not just O's, but circles, filled in black dots. I'll put this one right on the edge, and then we're just gonna draw just little hairs coming out from that. Just little hairs, do 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 do. And it does help to hum and make weird little noises while you draw. Don't be self-conscious about that. Or if you are, go someplace where it's okay. You know? Uh, my pets uh, my pets like to watch me draw because I make all kinds of silly noises. And so they'll just sit there and, and just watch me like I'm a TV show. It's funny. Um, so, I mean, you could just leave it like that. That looks interesting in its own right. But I am going to go ahead and not drawing all the way to the center. You know, I'm not starting in the center and drawing out. I'm starting out here around those hairs. I'm going to go ahead and draw a big open flower shape. Just by drawing little, like, half circles. You know, whatever petal shape speaks to you totally fine. The number of petals you put on here is totally fine. Um, flowers come in all shapes and sizes and all kinds of variations. There's no wrong way to do a flower doodle. So let yourself have some fun. Enjoy the process. Um, you know, your, your hand is learning how to draw every time you draw a doodle. Your hand is learning a little bit more and you'll be a little bit better next time. You'll be able to get a little bit closer to, to drawing what you want to draw, not just what happens. So I'm gonna draw this one pretty close to the edge, but not quite on it. So that way my petals will go off the edge, but the center will still be in here. Here we go. So thank you so much for joining me.